All right, we're here with Jeff Sanquist. I'm sure you remember him, uh, the Windy Compiler Lab. What are we doing in here, Jeff? Hey, um, so it's been a while since I was on Channel 9. A lot of people wondered where I went to after uh, after I left Channel 9. And one of the things is I'm, I'm uh, running an evangelism team now. And my team right now is hosting a compiler lab for Whidbey. And that means that folks that actually write .NET CLR compilers. And what's really cool is we have two people here, uh, Thomas and Ladislaw, who are from the Czech Republic. And hello. Say hello. And uh, they go to the, they're, they go to, they're at the, from the Charles University in the Czech Republic. And they have a really interesting project that they started down about two years ago. And uh, why don't you guys just talk about uh, the project that you that you have? It's called Phalanger. Yeah. And why don't you talk a little bit about why you went down creating Phalanger and what it actually is? Well, it started as a student project on our university, and it is a PHP compiler for .NET. So a PHP compiler for yeah. And uh, it consists of the compiler itself and runtime libraries and all the extensions that PHP has can be used in the compiled code. So everything you can write in PHP is also runnable under our compiler. So yeah, there, there are many, many uh, people writing uh, programs in PHP, at least in, in Europe. And uh, but it's it's kind of this, this technology is kind of very old, and uh, we thought it would be a great idea to to bring them to .NET, mm -hmm. so they do not have to learn a new new language, they do not do not have to use ASP.NET, but they still uh, can can take advantage of .NET. Okay. Can you get, explain exactly what are some of the advantages? over uh, traditional PHP? Well, you went down an interesting <laughs> path. When you went to do this project, <clears throat> .NET was pretty new. And maybe you were a little bit skeptical, or you didn't, you know, I mean, talk about what happened when, why you went down here. We were talking about before, and you said, you know, .NET was new, you didn't know much about it. And you wanted to understand a few things in Ryder Proust. Maybe talk a little bit about that. Yes, definitely. Definitely we want to explore what the .NET is and find out uh, whether it is possible to implement dynamic language such as PHP is to .NET, which is statically typed, mm -hmm. and uh, we hope that uh, we hope that uh, all the problems with com which comes with uh, PHP can be overcome, and it and so what are some done. of these problems? What are some of these problems? Well, uh, it, it is the nature of the PHP language. You can call functions by name, access variables by name, all generate dynamic code and mm -hmm. so on. So it uh, it requires to so some very cool uh, thoughts which have to be fine how to implement this. Uh, of course, it can be done uh, via reflection or something like that, but it is very, very slow. But we, we have, uh, we would like to improve the performance via compilation, which, um, which uh, we have done. Actually, our compiled code is quite faster than the original one. Fantastic, because the original one is an interpreted. Yeah, the original one is is partially interpreted, uh, and there are also some encoders which improves the performance. But uh, as you can see from our benchmarks we made and we presented our, on our website, uh, either if you use uh, something like Zen Performance Suite or something other uh, improvement you get uh, half of the performance you can get with, uh, with, with our compiler. Fantastic. So what were some of the challenges you guys faced in uh, implementing, designing and implementing the compiler? Yeah, we, we uh, wanted to, to bring as many functions that are available in PHP. We wanted to bring them to, to .NET. And one way to do it is to re-implement these functions in, in managed, so for example in C-sharp. But there are so many of, of these functions that it is not always possible or we are not capable of implementing all of them. So we also have um, 
a way of using native functions that ship with the original PHP in so-called extensions. And so it was quite a big challenge to use these native extensions to host them in our managed environment and to use the functions that are implemented inside of them. How long have you been working on the project? How long? Yeah, how long? When, when did you start doing the project? We started it in December 2002. Mm -hmm. That was the first first meeting where... That was the first uh, ideologic yeah. uh, meeting where we decided to implement PHP and find out which means we are uh, we should use for for this. So, where does where do it's called phalanger? Hopefully, well, <laughs> what does yeah. that mean? <coughs> that that is abbreviation of PHP language compiler. Uh, PH, the first word, lang is the second word, and R is a compiler. Ah. So that is and it is actually uh, an animal living, I think, in Australia, and it is with long tail <laughs> so that was quite uh, funny to find that some uh, such animal can have a name which fits our purposes sure it was very funny when we discovered this so, so where can people find out more about what you know if somebody wants to play with this what do they do where do they where, what should uh, they do they can download it from our website phpcompiler.net uh, and download it, try it, read documentation, papers, whatever. It's free for non-commercial purposes now. It will be probably free for either for uh, commercial ones. And it's not free so source code. Mm -hmm. We kept our source code. Uh, so you can tr try it. And we will be uh, glad if you want if you send us a feedback Absolutely. because we want to improve this <coughs> and links to the, on the website where to get feedback and download the code and yeah we uh, we have uh, and some examples there everything can be found on there you you can email us when you have uh, some problem with installation or anything like that. And people can also ask questions about yeah, their, about their implementation, their yeah. whatever. Very cool. So what, what made you interested in writing compilers? Have you always been interested in that? Mm. No, this is our first compiler. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and yeah, it was, it was also a pretty big challenge because we never wrote a compiler. And at the time we started this project, we uh, didn't even have the courses of compiler writing, so we had to discover the things like uh, ourselves. Mm. Well, the first half of the year we studied a lot, write no code at all, but uh, studied compilers, .NET and PHP. We, we studied PHP <laughs> uh, every day, so we find every every features that even those that are not documented because as you know PHP has no standard and that was also the main challenge to uh, find out the principles which were hidden in the PHP. Sure. And learn about how to write and design yeah. a language even yeah. though it wasn't really your own language you had to take it. And that's pretty amazing. Very amazing.